will need really blood catheterization. Mm -hmm. After a you know, few weeks, uh, you know, you will now retention. Decide if you see uh, blood inside the no, urine and cannot decide it's uh, inside bladder or other problem. You have to uh, collect the analysis using special catheter. Uh, or you can administrate medicine inside blood and your patient. Um, uh, it's, um, when your patient needs blood catheterization, you must know like you can do it. Uh, but when you will show me these practical skills, I will give you two back. First mark, I will check. This uh, practical skills is good two part. First part, you see, I give you two. No, first part, uh, I will check like you prepare table. table and your patient to do this manipulation. As in second part, and like you put on catheter inside. This part must be sterile and uh, in different in different country might be different rules uh, and uh, for example in, our, uh, in Israel the first part can prepare nurse but second part and uh, put on the catheter can do on the doctor it's more difficult and more important part um, you can get catheter in your hospital or at home, and uh, you can do it in different place. You can do it in special treatment room, or you can do it in patient room. Now I show you, uh, like you must prepare, and uh, what you need if you will do it in the patient room. You need mobile table, and you have to prepare and perform. On this clean table, must be special, must have special solution. This is you know, this is a special this solution is for skin. skin. For skin, and this solution you will use to clean your hand. And this is new special solution for mucosa. Mm -hmm. This is spiritus antiseptic, this is water antiseptic. And uh, it's maybe different solution, but now I will use fruit saline. Special solutions forbidden. This solution will broken because it's not, not comfortable for your patient. And you need, uh, please bring me uh, our container for package and uh, bottle with pincers. You need addition container without antiseptic solution. Uh, don't treat what is right in this container. In patient room, you will use, uh, you need only two containers. Container for contaminated your material, soft or medical items. Uh, with pincet, uh, bottle with pincet. And this container you need for package, for not not contaminated material. About <laughs> protect. No, no, no. <laughs> With tweezers. You need special protective for your personal protect. We will include apron, waterproof apron. Protective sheet for your patient. You need mask, goggles, not sterile and sterile gloves. Mask, 
Oh, nee, genau. Mhm. And also that you can prepare medical items. You prepare two tray. This is not sterile and sterile tray in package. You need sterile material. This is goes in paper and this is not less than two sterile tweezers for walk if your patient. You need cotton. There are many types of cotton. Today you will work with cotheta, uh, the name is cotheta, Nelaton. This is male, this is female. And uh, next class is uh, we start training uh, administrate uh, cotheta folia. This is balloon type of cotheta with special balloon on the uh, end. And if your patient need um, Put on catheter on the long time when you fill this balloon with catheter can be inside blood a more long time and you see a uh, different size of catheter this is male catheter too but you see it's very big size and every time you will decide what what Type of you mm -hmm. Yes, you you can uh, catheterize uh, female uh, catheter for male, mm -hmm. but you cannot do it, <laughs> use this catheter for male. You prepare catheter. This is disposable. You check integrity, expiration date, like it, and prepare appropriate type and size the catheter. And you need lubricant. It must be sterile lubricant. This lubricant may be in a special edition syringe or in sterile uh, vial. Uh, now I uh, prepare it like sterile container. And inside this container you see sterile for example, this is sterile vial with lubricant. And uh, if you have to check the volume here, the urine, you need special container or collector for urine. You see this and You can measure the level. You can measure the volume in the urine. One hundred from one less than one hundred to one thousand, so one liter. And you can close or open, remove the urine, and use this collector, this container. Now you prepare light meat and you prepare your table and you can go in the patient room. And the place, mm -hmm. really place for your items is, uh, now it doesn't matter, it's like, like convenient for you. It's maybe uh, two shelf mobile table and um, you can place a uh, container for waste on the bottom shelf and use sterile your protective on the bottom shelf too and uh, your sterile material on the top shelf you come to the patient room no 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 my come in who is my patient where i give an off i <laughs> Uh, now I will get you 
Separate your legs. 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 And after that, uh, pay attention. Before this manipulation, uh, your patient must uh, clean in your genital region uh, himself. Wow. If uh, it's in washing, in washing room, uh, the nurse must, must explain. It's different skills. Now I. Uh, don't show you like it. Do it. You need water. You need soap. And if your patient don't have it, so himself. If the patient is a male, a male should do it. A female can do it. Female mm -hmm. do it. Does it? Male of a male. What? No, like anyone can do it. Any one can do it. A female can. Male bang eating lard ka hai. Till not gara. It depends. It depends. Male woman like that. Mm, no, show you so, so different to use. Um, if patient are not alone in the patient room, you must use special items that call them quickly because it's, uh, it's communicate. It's if your patient shy and uh, sometimes it, I uh, don't want that. What? Uh, the man will uh, give me content that the female can ask us. In so different country, maybe different problems. Uh, but age doctor, it's, don't worry, I'm a doctor. <laughs> you must do it. You know. patient. Uh, now you put on. Your apron, mask, goggles, and you're not sterile. Gloves. Place the protective sheet under your face. <laughs> If it's not a uh, special sheet like this, uh, you can lace water protective and after that cotton uh, linen or sheet on this protective. And you place the not sterile tray between that your patient. And now you start make hygienic antiseptic before if your patient is clean you have to do it you prepare open package you prepare trial okay. take the package with trial soft material dressing prepare you open this cross, open the package with first tweezers, take this sweet tweezers and place not less than three piece of rolls in this tray. And after that, you can fill solution. It must be a uh, warm solution, not cold, not very hot. No. You feel warm solution in this tray oh. and start clean your patient. Don't worry. Now I clean your part. You can, it's uh, don't necessary, but for more convenient reason. You can close, you can place one piece of gauze on the penis or on the this part, uh, your 
situation. And after that, uh, the important position, your hand, your finger, on the male genital. You see, between uh, yes, third and fourth finger, you place the base of penis, and between first and second, you place the end. You upper the penis and uh, pull and open the your Next, your <laughs> and next you clean <laughs> now you clean the round. Now the patient is clean and ready to the catheterization. Uh, you can Ma'am, before cleaning we have to wet the eyes from that. Yes, yes. You need sterile tray, you need Special solution for mucosa, uh, you and you need uh, not less than three years trial, uh, not cotton gauze, uh, gauze material. Now you can remove and utilize your not sterile gloves and prepare to the more important sterile part. You open your catheter without touch, open on the package. Prepare new sterile tweezers. Prepare collect for urine. Open it, close this regulator. You can remove and utilize the cap. And if it bad, uh, you can to hold it on the bed. Now I can Ma'am, what is the non-sterile? This is not sterile. <laughs> what is it for? Uh, uh, for you? It's it's purpose. On? Purpose. Um. And you prepare your sterile <laughs> Don't touch it. Open package. Like meat, and you open sterile container with sterile lubricant. This is now I finish first part. The nurse part. Next part. You start. You clean and dry your hand. You must be without rings, watch. And other problem, and you start put on sterile gloves. This is more difficult than use not sterile gloves. This one. You start put on on your not dominated hand. You can touch your dominated hand only inside surface. No, not navigated hand. Place your finger inside your sterile gloves and outside surface must be sterile. And next gloves you place on the outside surface. Place your finger inside. And now after this part when you put on your sterile gloves I will check like you walk, the gloves and your gloves must be dry. It's very difficult, really. It's very difficult, and sometimes uh, your left, your not dominated hand, you can touch anything, mm -hmm. but your dominated hand must be sterile all time. Now take the new sterile tweezers. Open the package. You open it before. Now your not dominated hand to have your open package with sterile. It's 
very difficult if you have a cyst and the assistant can't help you, but you will do it without a cyst and it's very difficult. Place the catheter like me. If the assistant is there, we can use both the hands. Like assistant can't open it, uh, give you this device, but uh, last year, six year student of the state exam uh, passed with skills uh, without assistant. Any doctor must do it yeah. without it. Ma'am, what is your dominant hand? This one, this one, sir. Mm. This, this is my this dominated this hand. hand, yes. I take the catheter, I can open. This is sterile vial, I can open it. And that's the lubricant. Mm -hmm. Now you again ask your patient, don't worry, it's uh -huh. not, not pleasure, but relax, uh, please. Mm -hmm. Up the this is found of uh, was broken many many times. <laughs> <laughs> and when you uh, will feel the um, bones inside, bones. You change position. The first you upper it and uh, uh, not uh, really your technique. Uh, you don't um, push the catheter inside. Your not dominated hand walk really. You upper the penis and this hand stay in one position and really you must. Very carefully you can connect it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you can check how fast you can yeah. go inside yeah. and when you will see what urine uh, start flow more slowly you can stop it you can you clean your patient. I finish. About female catheterization, now I show you uh, what difference between it. You prepare table like I prepared before, but uh, you prepare a special size of catheter. Place the protective sheet. Communicate with your patient. Let's see. <laughs>
Udah udah banget. Udah banget. While you walk in your lost royal gloves. Prepare. Sterile material. Please. Ma'am? Yes. Do you have came in number for that simple material? You, you must do it like I, I don't uh, repeat it. You prepare this for for mail. You prepare like like me. Prepare a table. Now I on the show you what different. Place new tray between legs, same position, and uh, why you clean? The mail, when you start clean mail, you start on this and do it narrow. For clean the mail, uh, it's also different. You clean big limbs. Yes, yes. Uh, glucose only water antiseptic. Next, you open big and clean. <laughs> Smaller lips. <laughs> and third time, you clean only water. Only one place. And when you change your clothes and prepare, take a new clean sterile. Now we don't repeat it. This is right position for a uh, catheter for female. You see, you cannot, the male catheter for male, you must touch in your finger. Uh, this is more short catheter, you see, and you can take it like this. <laughs> what the end of catheter? We can't. <laughs> Collect in container or in special. Ma'am, it's the same container I use, right? That bag. Yes, if need. For example, you can collect if you if you need. You can collect the urine uh, to the examination. Uh, if it's necessary, it's maybe a different task, but uh, if it's the need for your patient, you must prepare a special uh, container for your mm. It's the same, it's like the collect. same yes. If you need, uh, this is back, you will use, if you need, check the volume, the urine. Mm. If you need, control the diuresis. Okay. Mm. Measure the level. You can collect, or uh, if it's uh, not necessary, you can use it only with one. Yeah, that's that's true. True. When you finish your cleaning, you remove and utilization. So new skills.